This video illustrates Route Sketcher, developed in the GeoVista Center at Penn State. Route Sketcher combines a visual analytics interface with computational tools to capture, process, and map documents containing route directions. The welcome page for Route Sketcher allows users to select and map documents from a previously created repository, from live websites, and from HTML or XML documents. Here, an HTML document with directions is uploaded. It is processed by a machine learning based classification algorithm that correctly classifies the document as containing directions. A binary maximum entropy classifier was used to classify documents into those with and those without directions. This classifier used the common bag of words method, which represents text within each document as an unordered collection of words. Stop words are not removed from the text because they are an important feature in directions containing documents, as is the case for onto in the phrase, take a left onto Atherton Street. The training set used to derive the classifier consisted of 500 direction containing documents and 500 non direction containing documents. When processing is complete, directions are mapped. The root sketcher display has processed directions on the right and a map on the left. Mousing over direction entities highlights those entities on the map and vice versa. Destinations are sometimes hard to extract. Alternative choices to the system's best guess can also be reviewed. Here we have correctly identified the origin in Pittsburgh, displayed as a green triangle, and the destination, Golden Tower Apartments, shown as a red stop sign northeast of Pittsburgh. By mousing over entities in the directions, we see the route develop through highlighted map features. Necessary turns are depicted with tan diamonds. Back at the welcome page, a second set of directions is uploaded to Route Sketcher. The Route Sketcher interface is implemented in JavaScript. We take advantage of the Open Layers API to integrate Google Maps features into the interface. Route Sketcher, however, does not require Google Maps. Any web mapping tools can be used. These directions find us in northern Nevada. If there are multiple routes, they can be turned on and off individually. Here we zoom in on the destination. This destination has two locations specified. The street address is depicted with the red stop sign, and the high school is linked to a map feature depicted with a blue circle. By clicking on a route and selecting Google Street View from the menu, we can analyze this destination further. We see the high school and the street in front of it. Since there are two locations specified, an analyst may want to investigate the geocoding and features in more detail. Turning on the Google Hybrid View enables us to see that the feature symbol represents the precise building location. Back at the welcome screen, we can query our database of preprocessed documents for any entity mentioned. Here we search for Battle Mountain, the name of the high school in our earlier example. The user can also drill down to a specific set of directions and select them for display on the map. And, the original unprocessed directions can be displayed for comparison. The document is displayed in a separate window so that it is accessible but can be moved out of the way as well. The next example focuses on a kind of business. We search for the phrase, the coffee shop, and drill down to a set of directions in New York City. As before, clicking on one of the HTML files brings up the parsed directions and resulting map. We zoom in on the section of Manhattan to see that the directions provide the route from the Lincoln Tunnel to the coffee shop in Union Square. This GeoVista video has highlighted some results from the Geographic Conceptualization of Movement project. GeoCam is funded by the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. If you would like to learn more, check out the project website at the URL shown here.